Hey you all, happy Vlogmas number 20. So we're here at Rite Aid, I needed to make a quick pit stop. I needed some primer. And so here it is right here, the green one. I just love, love this primer. It's the only one that I use. So I'll show you more later. So I picked up a few things from Ralph's. This is a good snack. I love to have this just by itself. Or even if you put it like, the brand name is Kashi, but it's kind of like the shredded mini wheats. And you squeeze a little bit on it and you just eat it like that. And you are full for like a good couple hours. Another snack I like to take is the um, cinnamon brown sugar cookies by Belvita. These are so good. We'll tie you over too for at least a couple hours because you get like four in a pack. So. so every week I pick up a few loaves of bread, take a few slices with me because on my lunch break, uh, or my breaks I like to go for walks and I'll take a few slices with me and feed the boys and they love it honey Also, I love these kettle chips. They are unsalted and I get them that way just because I eat them with my tuna And it really has like lots of flavor and even if I get some salsa It really has lots of flavors. So the unsalted is perfect. and I just love that crunch so I also picked up some rice stream so it's just rice milk and I love this kind and as I mentioned earlier it's the Kashi cinnamon flavor they're kind of like the frosted mini uh, wheats but it's by Kashi and I also drink these cold pressed energy drinks it's uh, wheatgrass and it's so good they're a little pricey they're about six dollars each but it's two servings so this will last me about four days right here and it tastes good too so it's wheatgrass pineapple and uh, I just love it and then last y'all, I bought the Atkins Indulge. So they're like M&Ms, just without the sugar. It does have one gram of net carbs. They're really good. So if you have that sweet tooth, this will go ahead and satisfy it. I always keep a few in my bag, so I'll have one either on my break or sometimes on the way home from work. All right, y'all, so I made a quick run to Rite Aid. Had to pick up a couple of knickknacks. One of them is primer. Now, I love, love this primer. It's, I've been using this for a good minute. It's by Maybelline. If you guys use primer, let me know what you all use. But this is the one I've been wearing. I've been using this now for ooh, for a while, a couple of years now. And uh, they have like several different colors. They have like a white, pink, yellow, blue. And then they got this green one. And it's for different things. So they have a type out there for your skin. This is for blur and redness control pigment. So I just love it. it gives you like this matte, smooth, clean look. So I've been using this, like I said, for years. <laughs> Y'all, I'll show you how many I have. I don't know why I just don't toss them out when I'm done. But in my cabinet, bathroom cabinet, I always stock up. I buy like two, three at a time. So I have them on the bottom shelf. When I'm done, I put them on the top shelf. Then I grab the next one and then I start using that one. And when I'm done with that one, the same thing. I put it on the top shelf instead of throwing them out. I don't know why I do that. But anyways, I must have like about 10 or 12 of these in my bathroom cabinet. But it's by uh, Maybelline New York Master Prime by Face Studio. This is like, like I said, it's not for everyone. Everyone has a different type of skin. But I've been using this and I love it. So I went for that. Then I got some, I had to go for some toothpaste. I was out of toothpaste. And then at the register, they have these little bins and I saw these and I'm like, how cute is that? So they're little packets of like hot chocolate. So this one is Swiss Miss Marshmallow. And they're cute gifts because you can put like a to and from. Isn't that cute? Cute gift, but um, I think I'm going to try one of these. Uh, part of the vlog. This is uh, milk chocolate. And they're cute. I mean, again, a little to and from, like a little nice stocking stuffer. It even comes with a little, you know, you can hang it somewhere, but very, very cute. And then this one is peppermint. I'm not a peppermint person, but I just grabbed it. I mean, you never know just to have, like I said, someone shows up or whatever. It's good to have. So these were two for a dollar so that's not bad so i got three and then i grabbed one more um, grabbed one more milk chocolate so not bad two for a buck so i think we're gonna try this one later on in the vlog maybe the next clip we'll try this one just heat up some milk and i'll toss this in there and then uh, we'll see what that's like all right also real quick i was doing some cleaning <laughs> in the morning and i came across a few gadgets y'all Look at this. So this was one of my, I don't think it was my first phone, 
maybe one of the first ones I've had, but it's by Verizon. It's LG and um, it's this right here. Now it's all scratched because like I said, it was put away in a box. It's yeah, I don't even know why I still had it, but this is the LG and look, you remember all that? Let me know if you all had one of these and then you would just, I remember I used to text crazy. Like I would just, you can read it here. It was, I believe it was touch screen. If not, you open it. And then boom, 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 like I would just, it was crazy. Like, yeah. So this was one of my first phones that I had. I'm tripping out on it. It's crazy. Then after that, I got the Galaxy S and it was this one. Now again, it's old, y'all. It was in a box. It's scratched, whatever. These are old, but look at this. I can't believe I had that. It's so funny. It's so like small. It's trippy the way, I mean, the way phones are now, like my 12 Pro Max is huge, but I don't know. You all remember these? Did you all ha ever have one of these? <laughs> so this is trippy. And then, so that was the phone. Do you guys remember these iPods? It's called the iPod, well, the iPod. And then old, like I said, they were in a box. I'm surprised I still have these. I don't even know why I still have it. And this is the eight gig gigabyte and look at the little menu oops there we go and i think i don't know i used it maybe like a couple times and it has music and the on and off switch i think was down here and then you would like charge it right here on the bottom so let me know if you guys ever had one of these i reach i remember these were like kind of big back in the day it's so small but yikes forgot i had that it's crazy so that was one Here's the other one and it still has the cord so this is also an ipod old ipod i even bought a cover for it and it wasn't the right well it barely fit it wasn't the right one the cover case but it was purple and i had bought it for it and then the little charging thing but look at that that is funny one button and um, I don't know if it was touch screen. I don't remember y'all, but it has one button here. Maybe it was touch screen. I think it was, yeah, and you would scroll through or whatever. But this was an iPod. So, trippy. And then let me show you the last gadget I had. So this was my very, very first camera ever. So, Casio. I just love the color. I remember I had bought this. Ooh, when did I buy this? Like 2000... I don't remember, y'all. I really don't remember. But it was pretty. And then you can see it has a little screen so you can um, scroll around. And then I think the camera, battery, and a little... Uh, I took all that out. It was There was a battery in there. Oh, it is still in there. Look at this battery, y'all. So I had a little SD card in there. I took that out, but trippy, my very, very first camera. I have a, a new one now that I bought, I think last year or the beginning of this year I had just bought. So, but yeah, oh wow, you all, that's trippy. Also, I found in my drawer, you all know I love Vegas. I used to go to Vegas. I used to go to Vegas like two, three times a year. So I have these, honey. Yeah, this was back in 2009. Seven, seven, two thousand, or maybe two thousand nine. I want to say, and these came from, which is not open anymore. I don't think. Last time I checked, it was closed. But the real, the real hotel, honey, and that's where they had the. Uh, at the time, at the time they had the. Uh, it's called a sky show, or it's kind of like a parade, but in the sky. So basically, it was on the ceiling, and I think it was like every hour or every couple hours. It would come out, they like floats, but it was on the ceiling and then um, they would throw beads. So there was like on the second floor, you know, they had people standing all around, even on the bottom floor. And then they would just like drop them or throw them to you. So we went, that's me and my best friend. And then we went with a couple of other friends. And um, yeah, so these are all my beads that I got. I forgot I had these. So we have Harrah's, we have the Showboat, we have Caesars, then the Rio and then Grand Casinos, all the names. So horseshoe but yeah memories y'all memories and i'm just showing y'all stuff because like i said i did some cleaning this morning i just came across a few knickknacks so i said why not might as well share it with you all so i have this little drawing that i saved 
<laughs> and then it says uh, four years. So this was uh, back in 96, I think. And uh, it says Jojo. So she drew this for me back in the day and I saved it and I've had it ever since. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know who, I guess it's supposed to be me maybe, but yeah, I saved it. So y'all yeah, 96. And then this was back 2009. 2009, it was my birthday. I went to Disneyland. So this was the button I got. So they drew, Junior was, they just called me Junior back in the day. Everyone was just, hey, Junior, Junior. So anyways, I know most of y'all know me just by Dalin or Elijah. But growing up back in the day, uh, that was me, Junior. And yeah, a cute little Mickey, Mickey balloon that he drew for me. So that was that. So I got some tickets here. So this one would start off, I went to the um, Mariah Carey concert when she had residency in Las Vegas. Had to go see her, so I got the VIP beautiful package. This was on May 9th, 2015. This is when I saw her in concert, and I still have the ticket stub. And it was inside the Coliseum, Caesars Palace. And then also, what did I do with it? So since I had the VIP, they go ahead and they gave you this lanyard to wear over your neck. So Las Vegas, honey, and it was her number one to infinity uh, concert. So it was awesome. So with this, we had early access. So we got to go in early, get our drinks and all that stuff. So definitely had a great time. I loved it. And I forgot how much I paid. It was like mm, a little under a thousand, I want to say for the ticket. Then I came with uh, dinner. So I had dinner um, before the show. And then after dinner, then you go inside, you have early access into the auditorium. So you go in there and you could just, you know, get your drinks, take pictures, all this stuff. And then, um, yeah, that was that. So definitely save that. Good memories. Every time I'm in Vegas, I have to do the shark reef. You all know, I just love marine life. Turtles are like my ultimate favorite. So even though I've already been there like many times, I love it. I don't get tired of it. So I always have to stop at the shark reef. Uh, another one, more tickets. These were, I took Mama Dolan and we went to go see uh, Cindy Lauper at the Greek Theater. Uh, it was so much fun. And this was back in August 27, uh, 2010. And the show was at 7.30. So I saved these. So these were uh, Cindy Lauper tickets. I love me some Cindy Lauper, y'all. Then I have, let's see, back in... This was April 22nd, uh, 2007. I went to go see Celine Dion. And I believe this was her last year performing there. Oh uh, yeah, the final year, there it is. The final year. So it was great, had a good time. So it was a group of friends that went. It was just me and another friend that went to go see her. I believe the other group went to go see uh, Brittany, I think. Brittany was performing, I think, that night as well. Oh, was it that night? I think it was that night. So half went to go see Britney, the other half went to go see Celine. So great show. I loved it. I have the ticket stub. And then the other show I saw in Vegas, this was on May 8th, 2010. And we went to go see Cher. So this wasn't planned. My friend that I went with, there was three of us that went, but he loves, loves Cher. The way I love Mariah, this is his Mariah right here. He loves Cher. And we didn't know she was playing. We went and... um we were on the strip and there was like a little ticket booth and they were, you know, selling tickets of who was performing. And he saw Cher and he was like, what? And they still had tickets left. He checked, he bought, he's like, hey, bee. he's like, hey, if I get tickets, would you go? Because he knows I'm like, you know, Cher's okay. I like Cher, but not enough to go pay to go see her. He's like, if I get you a ticket, would you go with me? And I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. So he bought the tickets and uh, <laughs> later on that night, it was that same day, actually, I remember. Then we went back to the hotel, we showered, we changed, we got ready, and then we went to go see Cher. So, yeah. Also, look what I came across, y'all. Look at this. Who remembers Blockbuster? Dang, I still have their <laughs> the membership card. Oh my gosh, yeah. So that's back in the day. That I can definitely get rid of. Like I said, I got a, I had a lot of stuff in that box, y'all. Y'all see that? princess <laughs> so it's solar powered y'all when i went to the grand canyon this was well over 10 years ago it still works like solar power and it's still kicking wow 
so yeah over 10 years ago i forgot what year it was but yeah we went to go visit my uncle and uh, we were there for maybe three days two three days and uh yeah so that's where i picked that keychain up and i can't believe it still works i also came across these pins so this is it's all scratched up but it was in the bin and it says uh I don't know if you can see it, but it says University of Phoenix. So that's where I graduated from college. And that was our colors, burgundy and black. Um, yeah, burgundy and black. So I still had that. I found that. I'm like, oh. And then this pin, y'all, I had like the biggest crush on Zac Efron growing up. And uh, Mama Dolan had saw this pin somewhere. So she picked it up and then uh, she had gave it to me one day. And I was like, ooh, and I still have it, honey. Yes, I love me some Zac Efron. High School Musical. Honey, he's still looking good today. Also, I saw, last thing, y'all, last thing I know. Um, so I have this card here. And it says, congratulations on your new job. And I said, what? And I opened it. And it was from uh, Mama Dolan. So my very, very first job, y'all, like right after high school, I worked for Target. So I worked at Target, honey. And that was my first job ever. So 18, y'all, my first job was Target. And um, was Mama Dolan gave me this card um, just to say congratulations and stuff. like. And I still have it, y'all. I still have it. And this was like, woo, many moons ago. We won't say uh, what year that was. But <laughs> anyways, I still have the card. I still have the card. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to end it here. I just wanted to show you some knickknacks that I got while I was out and then some stuff while I was cleaning uh, this morning. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next clip, which I don't know what it will be, but but I'll see you there. All right, so I think I'm just going to end it here. I was going to add another clip, but I think we have enough uh, footage, a little more than enough. And uh, like I said, I don't like my vlogs to be too long. So we're going to just go ahead and end it on number 20. So happy Vlogmas. Number 20, I hope you enjoyed this video or this vlog. So let's go ahead and open her up. So we have nothing for 20. So let's see what we have next door. Nothing next door. So I'm just gonna have to reach and get something. Okay, so I got a bag and I think it's another keychain. But here it is. So we have Saint Nick with his bag of toys. Again, these are so flimsy. Look how thin that is. And they just bend like nothing, like the color forms. Remember the color forms? But yeah, so that's what it is. Another keychain. Anyways, note to self. Do not purchase this ever again, this Nightmare Before Christmas, this advent calendar, at least this one. Because let me tell you, the majority, like, okay, you get the cast. Pretty much you get the the main characters, but for the most part, you're just getting trinkets and keychains. So if y'all are not into that, don't get this box. I forgot the name, but I know for sure I'm not getting this one again. But anyways, we're going to end it here. If you like the vlog, please comment, like, share, comment down below, all that good stuff. Give it a thumbs up for sure. That truly helps me and the channel out tremendously. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button to be part of the Dolan family. On day one A1, you already know. Hi. See ya. All right, you all. I love you for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.